Hi everyone, this is Nathan with TheEbookReader.com. For this video review, I'm going to give you guys a look at Android 4.1 Jelly Bean on the Kindle Fire. Uh, so the developers over at XDA have been working hard on getting this ported over to the Kindle Fire since the source code was released. Uh, there's actually two different versions. We've got the regular Jelly Bean version right there, uh, hash code version, and then we've also got this uh, different version that I'm using. It's the actual tablet edition. Uh, so what you're going to want to do if you want to install this, uh, all you got to do is root your Kindle Fire and install like a twerp recovery to uh, install the uh, actual zip file for Android 4.1. I've actually got the directions over here on my website, uh, how to root the Kindle Fire in five minutes and also installing uh, using twerp recovery to install ROMs and create backups. So uh, it's really, really easy. Once you get that set up, you just come over here and you download the uh, file for uh, the downloads right here. Here's the ROM file and the same goes for the regular version. Uh, you just download those files with your Kindle Fire. That's what I do because I hate USB cables. Uh, I just download with the Kindle Fire itself, then I'll reboot and recovery, and then flash those zips. Like I said, I got the instructions on my website if you wanted to learn how to do that. Right here, I just wanted to give you guys uh, sort of a tour of how it looks and what works and what doesn't work, and how it differs from the stock firmware that Amazon ships it with. So the Google Nexus 7 just came out, and it's the first tablet to ship with uh, Android 4.1 Jelly Bean. Uh, it's basically pretty much just like Android 4.0 uh, Ice Cream Sandwich. I don't know what's all these crazy names. we got to do these crazy names with every update. But uh, for the most part, it's very similar. A lot of the layout's the same. A lot of the whole setting menu, everything looks the same as it did with uh, Android 4.0. So there's really not a whole lot of difference. Uh, the major difference is like the performance. Uh, everything is just a lot smoother. Even this ROM, this early ROM on the Kindle Fire, everything is nice and silky smooth. It's surprising how smooth everything is. Uh, one thing you're not going to want to do is you're not going to want to come in here and hit uh, Force Phone UI. I did that earlier and uh, it messes with the touch screen so uh, nothing will like activate. Everything's like a couple inches off so it's really hard to get it uh, working. Once you got, I, I restarted it, it actually worked in the phone, you, uh, uh, phone interface uh, but uh, you don't, it's very difficult to get it to even turn off after you do that. So you're going to want to avoid hitting that first off. Uh, so as you can see one of the differences with Android 4.1 is we've got the dock over here. Uh, so you can add uh, apps to this dock and it um, stays there permanently when you're switching between screens and whatnot. There's also a dock on this side, so you can put them over here if you want to. Uh, a couple other differences. We've got the uh, settings menu. It just hit a settings right there. We can access different settings from there. Um, it's also got the voice search with the new little uh, uh, assistant, but that isn't going to work on here. It's, it just force closes, plus the uh, Kindle Fire doesn't have a microphone anyway, so uh, that wouldn't work anyway. But uh, some of the other stuff, uh, so the app drawer is the same as it was back on uh, Honeycomb and uh, Ice Cream Sandwich. You sort of got your apps up here, and you can scroll over to your widgets. Uh, as you can see, I'm surprised by how fast and smooth everything is on the Kindle Fire already. Uh, I'm really liking this new layout. Uh, the new Maps app, it's definitely got a speed boost too. Everything just seems to be zippier, loading, scrolling. So there's definitely some improvements with uh, Android 4.0 or Android 4.1 over Android 4.0. Uh, one of the cool things is they got Netflix working already too. Uh, so like one of the main differences when you switch over from the regular Kindle interface to the uh, Jelly Bean interface like right here, so you don't have all the access to the Amazon stuff as you did before. So uh, you can install your Kindle app, you can install the Amazon App Store and the Amazon MP3 player, but you're not going to have access to like uh, Amazon's videos. Uh, that's the one main advantage of uh, staying with the stock operating system. Um, another thing with uh, Android 4.1, you can't use the web browser for uh, watching videos either because, um, well you can, but as long as it's not Flash, because Flash isn't going to be supported by Android 4.1. I actually went ahead and installed it from a different website to see if it worked, and it still doesn't work that way. Um, if you go over here to App Info, or we hold it here, we can actually get uninstall. If you want to uninstall the app, I might as well uninstall that since it doesn't work. So I tried a few different games on here and they were working well. Uh, not all the games were working though, I tried a few different ones and they wouldn't install. I uh, like the higher end game loft games that aren't showing up, but uh, some of these games do install and they do work fine. It just sort of depends on which one you're going with. So the uh, playback with this game has been nice and smooth and fast. Uh, these other games I had working as well, uh, Fruit Ninja and Temple Run.
So I decided using on the tablet interface here and we've got the icons over here and we've got the uh, clock down here. If you use the phone uh, set up like your, uh, the clock is up here, I used it for a little bit, for, tried it out for a little while just to see if I like it. But I like the tablet version better and these things are centered instead, sort of uh, in the middle instead of like your notifications are in the middle. Uh, so they're set up more for a smaller screen with a bigger screen. Obviously you have more room and more real estate. So I kind of like them set over to the side like that but you can just sort of test them. Uh, one thing you're going to want to do. One thing I noticed uh, with this thing is when it installs the Amazon App Store on this particular ROM, uh, but that App Store, it's an old App Store, and some of the things wouldn't work with an old version of that App Store, and it won't update because it's a system ROM or a system uh, app. What you need to do, I found, is uh, installing ROM Toolbox Lite. You can open up this app, and then uh, you can come in here, and it will let you actually um, hit the App Manager. It will scan your apps, and from here you can hit the Amazon App Store, uninstall that version of the Amazon App Store and then you can go and install the newer version and it'll work fine. Uh, so that's sort of the one thing you're going to want to do uh, because some of the apps, like I said, some of the Amazon apps won't work with the older version of the Amazon App Install for some annoying reason. So like I said earlier, Netflix works, YouTube works, even YouTube HD videos work. They look excellent. Let me go ahead and show you an example here really quick. So after you flash the uh, Jelly Bean ROM, you're going to have to flash the Google apps to, in order to get access to the Google store. Uh, then once you do that, you got all the apps in here. You can set up and get the Google apps and music and all that. Uh, the Google store works fine and so does the Amazon store like I was showing earlier. So yeah, you got plenty of options for apps uh, and we've also got all your widgets over here. Uh, if you want to add your Gmail and stuff like that to the home screen, and I've also got a Google Reader one on there. Uh, so you can add your widgets and resize your widgets just like you did with the last version of Android. So there's not a whole lot of changes with the uh, Android 4.0 to Android 4.1, but uh, there's definitely some performance enhancements. Uh, I'm liking how smooth everything is. Uh, even on the Kindle Fire, it's going to be interesting to test out the Google Nexus next week when I get my hands on that. Uh, so check back with ebookreader.com. Like I said, if you wanted to test this ROM on your Kindle Fire, uh, it's definitely a really good ROM to try out. I would definitely recommend it. Go over to XDA. You can download uh, that file. And I, uh, like I said, I've got the instructions on my website if you don't know how to do it. Um, so check that out. Um, thank you for watching and have a good day.